It's difficult to build a home in the middle in the middle of a storm. Three of Wands. Speaking of, there's a looks like a storm on that car that in the Three of Wands in the water. Wow. They're waiting for the storm to pass. You see, she's waiting for the storm to pass before she sets out and goes and does something or sails away or goes on a trip or travels. So somebody's waiting for the storm to pass so they can continue building with you. You guys could be on a break or something like that. Three of Wands. Seven of Swords reversed. Ace of Wands, yeah. Somebody found something out that was hidden or some manipulation lies or some kind of trickery deception. And now they feel inspired, motivated to do something new or some kind of new ideas, new creative endeavors. They, they feel inspired to do more. Ace of Wands. This could be something that um, they read or seen or somebody told them. Temperance reversed. Wow. Ace of Swords. Some communication. Somebody found out the truth. Nine of Coins reversed. Four of Swords reverse. Someone's stressing. Possibly in bad health. Someone's stressed all out. Restless. They could be knowing. Yeah, I was about to say. They could be knowing somebody's about to go somewhere or travel or move or go towards you. Three of Wands, four of Wands. Could be an event, milestone, party. This could be something with kids or children or family. Could be a reunion too. Five of Swords reversed. Somebody was trying to defeat you guys or something like that. It didn't work. They can't defeat you. They can't one-up you. They can't lie. Can't trick you. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Someone feels inspired or getting ready to do something to have this Ten of Cups or to rebuild after the storm. Y'all's family could be getting back together or someone's patching things up with a family dynamic or a marriage, possibly. I feel like it's going to be a um, some kind of reunion or something. It could be a family reunion. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of surprise page of cups. Something with kids or some of y'all. Um, or a child. So I'm stressing over this. Nine of cups reversed. Four of cups. This could be somebody that has financial issues or is struggling to take care of themselves or struggling to be happy. In life or is happy struggling to be happy on their own justice reverse so this is bad karma someone's in the four of swords dealing with bad karma maybe they don't want to take responsibility and take care of themselves with this nine of coins reverse or they was trying to steal rob cheat um Yeah, somebody in this energy is being very selfish. They're um, in some kind of erratic energy, losing their temper. It's a lot of stress here for somebody. Temperance reversed. Occupation reversed. Could be something about someone's job career or something's not working out if they try to lie or something with the seven of swords reverse five of swords reverse it's 
just not working. If they try to get the law involved or something of that nature, that didn't work either. Something's not working out. Someone's hella stressed. Some immature woman. Immature woman. Something about a family could possibly family room. Damn. They don't want to take accountability or something. Their life is all out of there. Someone's life is in shambles. It's something's just like ripped to shreds. There's shredded up paper on this card. Mm, wow. Temperance reversed. Yeah. Great fortune reverse. This is misfortune, bad karma. Wow. I get a sense um, this could be somebody that's stuck. Show us this person going through bad karma. This could be um, a karmic woman or somebody immature, childish or unstable. Someone's been getting sober. Inside their fearful, emotional incest. That could be some family members. Or they're feeling emotional. They need to learn to stay in their own lane. Damn. They're defeated. They feel defeated or something. They're tired, fatigued. Yeah, someone that was trying to defeat you is all stressed out. This could be somebody you've known for a long time. Could be a long time friend. Somebody's been distant. They could be trying to trick somebody into getting a restraining order or get them wrapped up in courts or the law. There's something with the law that keeps coming out. They could act like a teenager or be childish or there's a teenager involved. I'm sorry I let other people come in between us. Something about real estate. They were worried about what other people were going to think. Somebody's under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Wow. Some karmic stressing. Someone defeated. Mm-hmm. Ten of Swords. Something is over. Five, yeah. Five of Swords reversed again. They try to defeat you or one-up you or compete with you. They're stressed because somebody's not invested into them. Possibly not invested into them anymore. Somebody's trying to get out of this Four of Cups energy. Yeah, four swords reversed. I get a sense like um, this karmic woman has not been growing or something or not maturing. There could be a clash between um, some people. Yeah. They wanted this person to possibly reject you or reject new opportunities in life, possibly work opportunities. Four swords reversed. Yeah, the sun. Something that they're seeing. Something that they're seeing or something they saw is stressing them out. Yeah. It's about the self love. It's about somebody's self love, self concern, self healing and dependence. Somebody could be 43 in this energy. You guys could be withdrawn from them. They feel like they're taking a loss or losing you. Loss, sorrow, bereavement. They're impatient. Patience reverse. <clears throat> Or they've been feeling like they're losing their patience lately. Impatience. 
over a yang energy. This hit the loss 13, so they feel like it's over or something's ending, possibly with the yang energy or masculine. Let's um, read this from this book, Wisdom of the Oracle, and then I'm just going to close this out. I might read a few of these today just to give you all some more information. So number one, the masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen and taking action. That's the energy we've been seeing. The more we can do, the more the more we do, the more we can do. So like I've been showing you guys, you got somebody inspired. Somebody's inspired by a divine feminine energy. This could um, also be a feminine energy too, feeling inspired or doing more. I feel like a lot of the divine femmes have these masculines feeling inspired to make things happen or to do more. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thoughts and desires into concrete form. Now is a perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want, there could be um, communication issues or somebody's not talking to this karmic. For, um, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now, not this karmic. You're the shaper, you and God. You and the universe, the divine. You and God, not this karmics. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It is okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is a time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Projects, partnerships, and all matters relating to your businesses are out of the obstacle phase and on to the make it happen phase. Now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect to be busier than usual, this card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. Abundance is waiting for you to claim it. 